You were here early, weren't you? That's what I thought. I'm gonna kill my friend Sharon. I'm never, ever, under any circumstance, going on another blind date as long as I live. Did I? I mean, we're great-looking broads. Funny, smart. We're on a blind date. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I guess it just goes to the theory. If you're looking for something, it's usually in the wrong place. No shit. Well, at least we met each other. Night's not a total loss. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I already know you. Like from a past life? You're not one of those spooky people, are you? Well, I'm a lawyer, so you never know. What firm? Bickle, Cookman, Josephson, and Travis. Say it three times fast. No kidding. Partner? Right, so? Very impressed. So, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? I'm not good at relationships. I've been too into my career, hence a blind date. And you? Well, I have them too easily. I think maybe it's time to grow up, settle down, become an adult. Well, if you teach me how to have frivolous relationships, I'll teach you how to be an adult. Deal. Hey, uh, maybe I can get your number. We could try this again sometime. Let's be honest, Bob. This falls into the life's too short category, don't you think? Yeah, I'm not even going to ask for a number because I have a brain in my head. Call me. We'll be together. I'm sorry. Did you see that? Oh, what? I swear to God, Casey gave Lauren her phone number. No oh, my God. What? They're lesbians. I mean, you know, you know what? If they are, they weren't until they met you, you asshole. Hey, stop calling me an asshole. Why? It's your name, isn't it? Come in. So, how was it? How was your date? You know, I've been sitting here all morning, staring out the window, trying to figure out what went on last night. You've lost me. You know, Bob gives all men a bad name. <laughs> so, no second date. What's to figure out? The Casey. The other woman, Frank's blind date, got completely under my skin. You mean in a bad, annoying, irritating kind of way, right? No, I mean, she's one of the smartest, funniest, most attractive people I've met in a long time. No, 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 that's not what you mean. I mean, maybe she's smart and funny, but attractive? It, no, that's not what women are to other women. You're mixing your metaphors here. No, I'm not. This is as clear as day to me, which is why I'm so confused. But I was attracted to her. Not Bob. I wanted to be on a date with her, not Bob. Well, you were drunk. I mean, you weren't in your right mind. You're not in your right mind. I mean... <sighs> Jesus Christ, Lauren, that would make you gay. And you're not gay. How do you know? I mean, I don't know. What if? I'm not hearing this. You know what? You are not a bigoted person, Claire. And this is shock speaking. I'm shocked. I've never been attracted to a woman before in my entire life. I wouldn't be so sure that I'm not bigoted, Lauren. And if I were you, I would get this out of your Not exactly the support you were looking for. So, why do you think you felt these things about Casey? There was something familiar. I mean, the next morning for her was exactly like mine. Except for the best friend part. Good morning. Okay. So tell me all about the thing. Did you like Frank? I would rather have a root Oh, come on, Casey. He couldn't have been that bad. I know him. 
I would admit that to anyone. You know, you're not the easiest person in the world to set up. You're judgmental, superficial, and sometimes a royal pain in the ass. Well, good morning to you, too. Did the other two hit it off? Claire's friend, what was her name? Lauren. Uh, no, it was Hiroshima across the board, but she was pretty fabulous. Fine. I'm not going to try and set you up ever again. Yes! You know what? Your body and your looks are not going to last forever. Then what are you going to do? You can euthanize me. Sometimes you're not funny. Yes, I am. No. Come on, say it. No, you're a sick bitch on, is what you it. are. Stop, Stop it! Come on, say it! Stop it! Yes, Nancy? It's a Casey Montgomery. I put it through. Okie dokie. Hi, Lauren, it's Casey. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, I was just calling to see if maybe you wanted to get together sometime. Uh, I don't know, let me, let me look at my schedule. That's okay, you know, it's probably a bad idea. No, 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 it's just, I'm, I'm just uh, surprised to hear from you, that's, that's all. Uh, how's Saturday? Saturday's good. Good. Uh, do you want to meet at my place? Sure. Well, I live at 1950 Riverside Drive, apartment 10. Around 7? Seven's good. Hey, you like jazz? I love jazz. Excellent. I'll see you Saturday. Great. See you Saturday. Bye, Lauren. Bye. <laughs> 